According to Big Bang models, the universe began as an extremely hot and dense state and has been expanding and cooling ever since. At the start, a gravitational singularity, characterized by infinite density and temperature, marked the limitations of our understanding through general relativity. Some models even propose alternative cosmological epochs before the Big Bang, suggesting this initial singularity was a precursor to our universe. Despite the universe's high density back then, it didn't collapse into black holes because the matter was evenly distributed. The universe's earliest phases are shrouded in mystery due to a lack of data, but common models paint a picture of a homogeneous isotropic state with high energy density and rapid expansion. During the Planck epoch, the four fundamental forces, gravity, electromagnetism, the strong nuclear force and the weak nuclear force were unified. The universe's characteristic scale was the Planck length and temperatures soared to approximately 10 circumflex 32 degrees Celsius. Understanding this period requires a theory of quantum gravity, a goal that still eludes physicists today. Following the Planck epoch was the Grand Unification Epoch, where gravitation separated from the other forces as the universe's temperature dropped. Next, a phase transition caused cosmic inflation. This exponential expansion of the universe smoothed out irregularities and dropped temperatures significantly. Inflation ended around nano milliseconds, leading to a period known as reheating. The inflaton field decayed, producing elementary particles. As the universe continued to cool, particles combined to form protons and neutrons. A slight excess of matter over antimatter emerged. Big Bang nucleosynthesis occurred a few minutes into the expansion, forming deuterium and helium nuclei. After about 379,000 years, electrons and nuclei combined to form atoms and the universe became transparent to radiation, leading to the cosmic microwave background, a relic of this ancient epoch. Gravitational attraction caused denser regions to collapse into gas clouds, eventually forming stars, galaxies and other cosmic structures. Cold dark matter, or CDM, is estimated to constitute about 23% of the universe's matter energy, while baryonic matter makes up about 4.6%. The universe's expansion began to accelerate due to dark energy, a mysterious force that permeates space homogeneously, accounting for about 73% of the universe's total energy density. While dark energy likely infused the early universe, gravity initially dominated, slowing the expansion. However, as the universe expanded and matter density decreased, dark energy's influence led to accelerated expansion. Dark energy is often modelled by a cosmological constant in Einstein's field equations, though its exact nature remains unknown. The Lambda CDM model of cosmology, combining quantum mechanics and general relativity, describes the universe's evolution post-inflation, yet models describing the universe remain speculative and untestable. Understanding this earliest era is one of physics' greatest unsolved problems. Let's delve deeper into the observational evidence that supports this monumental theory. Our journey begins with the expansion of the universe, first observed by Edwin Hubble. According to Hubble's law, galaxies are moving away from us, and the farther they are, the faster they recede. This is indicated by the redshifts of galaxies, a direct consequence of the expanding universe. Next, we have the discovery and measurement of the cosmic microwave background, CMB. This faint glow of radiation, a relic from the early universe, provides a snapshot of the cosmos when it was just 379,000 years old. The CMB's uniformity and slight fluctuations are a treasure trove of information confirming the universe's hot and dense beginnings. Then there's the relative abundances of light elements produced by Big Bang Nucleosynthesis, BBN. This process, occurring within the first few minutes of the universe, forged the primordial nuclei of deuterium, helium and trace amounts of lithium. The observed abundances of these elements match the predictions made by Big Bang models, further solidifying our understanding. More recent evidence comes from observations of galaxy formation and evolution and the distribution of large-scale cosmic structures. These observations align with theoretical predictions, painting a consistent picture of a universe shaped by the forces and events described by the Big Bang Theory. These pieces of evidence, Hubble's law, the cosmic microwave background, Big Bang nucleosynthesis, and galaxy formation and evolution are sometimes called the four pillars of the Big Bang models. 
They provide a robust framework for understanding our universe's origins and evolution. However, precise modern models of the Big Bang appeal to various exotic physical phenomena that have not been observed in terrestrial laboratory experiments or incorporated into the standard model of particle physics. Of these features, dark matter is currently the subject of most active laboratory investigations. Despite our best efforts, remaining issues include the cuspy halo problem and the dwarf galaxy problem of cold dark matter. Dark energy is also an area of intense interest for scientists, but it is not clear whether direct detection of dark energy will be possible. Inflation and barrier genesis remain more speculative features of current Big Bang models. Viable quantitative explanations for such phenomena are still being sought. These are some of the unsolved problems in physics that continue to challenge and inspire researchers around the globe. This is the domain of pre-Big Bang cosmology. The Big Bang explains the evolution of the universe from a starting density and temperature that is well beyond humanity's capability to replicate. However, extrapolations to these extreme conditions and earliest times are necessarily more speculative. Lemaitre called this initial state the primeval atom, while Gamow referred to the material as Elam. How the initial state of the universe originated remains an open question, but the Big Bang model does constrain some of its characteristics. For instance, if specific laws of nature were to come into existence in a random way, inflation models indicate that some combinations are far more probable, partly explaining why our universe is so stable. Another possible explanation for this stability could be the hypothetical multiverse, which assumes every possible universe exists and thinking species could only emerge in those stable enough. A flat universe implies a balance between gravitational potential energy and other energy forms requiring no additional energy to be created. The Big Bang theory, built upon the equations of classical general relativity, indicates a singularity at the origin of cosmic time and such infinite energy density may be a physical impossibility. However, the physical theories of general relativity and quantum mechanics as currently realized are not applicable before the Planck Epoch. Correcting this will require the development of a proper treatment of quantum gravity. Certain quantum gravity treatments, such as the Wheeler-DeWitt equation, imply that time itself could be an emergent property. As such, physics may conclude that time did not exist before the Big Bang, while it is unknown what could have preceded the hot, dense state of the early universe or how and why it originated. Speculation abounds on the subject of cosmogony. Some speculative proposals, each entailing untested hypotheses, include the simplest models, where the Big Bang was caused by quantum fluctuations. This scenario had very little chance of happening, but according to the totalitarian principle, even the most improbable event will eventually occur. It took place instantly from our perspective due to the absence of perceived time before the Big Bang. Emergent universe models which feature a low activity past eternal era before the Big Bang, resembling ancient ideas of a cosmic egg and the birth of the world out of primordial chaos. Models where the whole of space-time is finite, including the Hartle-Hawking no-boundary condition. Here, the Big Bang represents the limit of time but without a singularity, making the universe self-sufficient. Brain cosmology models where inflation is due to the movement of brains in string theory. The pre-Big Bang model. The ichirotic model, where the Big Bang results from a collision between brains. And the cyclic model, a variant where collisions occur periodically, cycling the universe from one Big Bang to a Big Crunch and back again. Eternal inflation, where universal inflation ends locally here and there in a random fashion, leading to bubble universes, each expanding from its own Big Bang. The Big Bang is a physical theory that describes how the universe expanded from an initial state of high density and temperature. It was first proposed as a physical theory in 1931 by Roman Catholic priest and physicist Georges Lemaitre when he suggested the universe emerged from a primeval atom. Various cosmological models of the Big Bang explain the evolution of the observable universe from the earliest known periods through its subsequent large-scale form. These models offer a comprehensive explanation for a broad range of observed phenomena, including the abundance of light elements, the cosmic microwave background, CMB radiation, and large scale structure. The uniformity of the universe, known as the flatness problem, is explained through cosmic inflation, 
a sudden and very rapid expansion of space during the earliest moments. Crucially, these models are compatible with the Hubble-Lemaitre law. The observation that the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it is moving away from Earth. Extrapolating this cosmic expansion backward, in time using the known laws of physics, the models describe an increasingly concentrated cosmos preceded by a singularity in which space and time lose meaning, typically named the Big Bang singularity. Physics lacks a widely accepted theory of quantum gravity that can model the earliest conditions of the Big Bang. In 1964, the CMB was discovered, which convinced many cosmologists that the competing steady-state model of cosmic evolution was falsified, since the Big Bang models predict a uniform background radiation caused by high temperatures and densities in the distant past. A wide range of empirical evidence strongly favors the Big Bang event, which is now essentially universally accepted. Detailed measurements of the expansion rate of the universe place the Big Bang singularity at an estimated 13, 787 plus no, 020 billion years ago, which is considered the age of the universe. There remain aspects of the observed universe that are not yet adequately explained by the Big Bang models. After its initial expansion, the universe cooled sufficiently to allow the formation of subatomic particles and later atoms. The unequal abundances of matter and antimatter that allowed this to occur is an unexplained effect known as baryon asymmetry. These primordial elements, mostly hydrogen with some helium and lithium, later coalesce through gravity, forming early stars and galaxies. Astronomers observe the gravitational effects of an unknown dark matter surrounding galaxies. Most of the gravitational potential in the universe seems to be in this form, and the Big Bang models and various observations indicate that this excess gravitational potential is not created by baryonic matter, such as normal atoms. Measurements of the redshifts of supernovae indicate that the expansion of the universe is accelerating, an observation attributed to an unexplained phenomenon known as dark energy.